If you're thinking about how to start ebook business where you can create ebooks and publish them and make money from them, then this is a video you should watch to the end because in today's video, I'm going to show you six tools and softwares that you can use to start creating your ebooks for free. Now, I'm making this video because a lot of people have asked me to share ideas and information about the tools that I use to create my ebook and that's why i'm making this video if this is your first time of coming onto my channel i am very excited to have you i want to welcome you to my channel my name is our gmam isuto and on this channel i basically teach you how to do stuff online i teach you things that you can do that can help you make money for yourself and grow your business so i believe that is the reason why you're here okay so kindly support me on this channel by liking this video subscribing to this video and make sure you turn on the notification bell number one you're doing that to support me number two so that you will always be notified whenever i put new videos whenever i publish new videos okay without wasting time let's go straight let me show you six tools and softwares that you need to start creating your ebooks for free without wasting time i'll go straight to number one number one on my list is google docs okay google docs you can see it on my screen google docs google docs actually is an online tool that you can use to create your content you can use it to type your content all right now the beautiful thing about google docs is if you're going to type with normal typing softwares which is microsoft word when you type it will be there in your in your in your phone either in your phone or your laptop meaning that if you are if you are leaving that place you can't use it all right you cannot have access to that but the beauty about google docs is that even if you're traveling let's say you have a laptop and you have your smartphone if you create your content on your laptop using google docs it has automatically saved online so when you're going out and you pick up your phone you can still open up your google docs and work on that document from anywhere you are and when you get back home the document will be reapplied what i mean reapplied is it's going to activate it that you have done an editing on the job and it's going to be the same thing you edited on your phone it's going to be the same thing you will find in your laptop are you getting it now so this is the advantage of using google docs google docs can help you to type your work and reserve your work online okay so you can't lose your data that's number one number two is canva okay before i go to canva let me show you how to get google docs for you to get google docs you just come to google play store here that you see here click on it here all right click on it once and then you come to this search area and you are going to type you're going to type google docs are you seeing now google docs actually is owned by google okay it's owned by google now you can see google docs here mine is showing updates that means i need to update it okay i have it already in my phone so i need to update it to keep using it in your own case you're going to see open you're going to see install i mean to say you're going to see install all right so once you see install if you don't have it on your phone you're going to see install if you have it on your phone it's going to be showing updates so you are going to click on install and it will be installed onto your phone all right that is how to get google docs on your phone now let's go to the second one the second one is canva all right canva let me show you what canva looks like can you see canva here this is canva actually canva is used for design It's a free tool although there's a paid version but it is a free tool that can be used by even a beginner even if you don't know how to design before and you're not a graphic designer you can actually use canva to start learning and design your ebook covers the beauty about it is that there are many templates thousands of templates that you can just use copy and edit all right you just go there edit them according to your taste these templates are already ready-made templates that you can just use so no need for you to be designing from scratch no need for you to um outsource your job no need for you to hire a graphic designer okay that's the beauty 
of using Canva for your ebook covers. You can use Canva to design your ebook covers. All right. So let me show you how to get Canva. To get Canva, you're going to come to Google Play Store just like we've done before. You click on it once and then you go to the search area and then you type Canva. All right. Once you type Canva, it's going to bring out this what you see on your screen. Okay. Now, the same way is showing updates here in your own case, it's going to show in store. If you don't have it on your phone, it's going to show you install. So all you need to do is to click on install and wait for it to load until it installs. Once it has completed installation, you're going to see it in your phone, just like it is on my phone. Okay. Let's go to number three. Okay. Number three is, um, Google Drive. Yes, Google Drive. Google Drive is also um, owned by Google. Actually, it is like a storehouse online where you can store all your details online. Okay? It is like a storehouse where you can store your important documents online. Okay? So after you finish creating your ebook, you've created your ebook cover and all of that, you can host your ebook on Google Drive. All right? You can host your ebook on Google Drive. In fact, that's the first place to host your ebook. After you are finished working on it on Google Docs, you can now save it on Google Drive. Are you getting it now? Every one of us has Google Drive. If you have a Gmail account, automatically you can have a Google Drive account. All right. So all you need to do to get Google Drive is to come to Google Play Store. Just the same way I showed you, you come here and click here all right in the search area and type google drive are you seeing this now you type google drive once you type google drive it's going to bring it out for you can you see this one it's showing me installed meaning i have it and it's showing me updates meaning i need to update it to keep using it in your own case it's going to show install so you click on install and you're going to have it on your phone these are tools that are very 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 free okay tools that are free to use and they're very very profitable are you getting now so if you want to start creating your ebooks you want to start hosting your ebooks these are tools you should be using okay now that is number three number four is speech to text all right speech to text let me show you speech to text let me show you speech to text. Now, this is speech to text you are seeing. Now, the essence of speech to text is for you to create content, for you to be able to create your content without having to type. Meaning that if you're somebody that you don't like to type, you can actually come to speech to text and then you can be saying the words the way I'm saying it like this and everything will be typing. Are you getting now? everything will be typing and once you are done saying everything like this you can go straight copy it and then you take it to your google docs and you paste it there are you getting it now very very easy okay let me show you how to get speech to text you go to your google docs or your play store i mean to say you come to your play store click on play store here and you come to the search area and you type speech to text are you getting it now this is a very very good tool that you can use so that you don't have to stress yourself to type this is very 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 uh, good for people who don't like to type from scratch all right you don't like to type from scratch you can actually come here and pick anyone from here but the one i use which is um very 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 good which i've been using for a long time now is down 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 below let me check for it very 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 good software i'm trying to look for it it's down okay just follow me it's down i'm trying to look for it um actually you can use any one that you're seeing here this is the one i use um okay I'm trying to see hold on um I'm trying to see. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I think we have passed it. 
we have passed it okay let's just just check it a little bit good this is the one i use can you see this is the one i use speech to text but you can you can just come here and download anyone all right download anyone and test it okay test it to be sure if it's working when you download it what you need to do is to speak into it okay speak into it and see if it is typing are you getting now speak into it and see if it is typing if it is typing then you know that it is working all right you know that it is working so let me just take you to um let me take you to speech to text so you can see what the interface looks like so i'm going to click on it once click on it here all right can you see it now it's going to show us advertisements all right it's going to be showing us advertisement because we are using a free version so you can see these are all the things i've been able to type with just my voice okay all it will do for you is to translate your voice into text so you don't have to be typing from scratch so all you need to do is just edit what you have typed using google docs are you getting it now this is very easy now let's go to the last okay the second to the last one the second to the last one is google search google search okay google search is just your google that you use to search for information you can use it to do research all right let's say you want to write about something you can come to google search and use google to search for information that you need very easy i don't need to show you how to use google to search for stuffs okay you just go to google and type whatever you want and the information will come out in fact that is a tool that is very good for your research so before you create your ebook you know that definitely you need to do some research okay that is number five number six which is our final one if you're getting value from this video kindly like make sure you are subscribing make sure you like all right number six which is the last one is chat gpt let me say it again chat gpt this is an ai tool that can help you solve the challenge of brainstorming okay you don't need to think too hard for instance, you can come to ChatGPT and tell ChatGPT what you want to create. And ChatGPT will give you a very nice suggestion for how you should go about writing your books. We are going to test an example in this video so you can see. But first of all, before we do that, let's go straight to Play Store. Let me show you how to get ChatGPT on your phone. Remember I told you it's an AI tool, right? You can use it on your Google Play Store. You can use it on your Google directly on your google chrome or you can download the app so what i'm going to do now is to search for chat gpt chat gpt okay chat gpt yes you can see in my case now this is chat gpt is showing me install because i have not installed it on my phone okay this is what it's going to be showing you on your phone when you search for this now all we need to do to have chat gpt is to click on install once we click on install it's going to be installed on our phones all right so go ahead now click on this type chat gpt in the play store session here in the search area and you're going to see same thing you're seeing on my screen right now all you need to do is to click on install it will be installed on your phone and once you install it follow me to google chrome let's do this simple exercise now so i'm going to come to my google chrome here and click on chrome and then you can see this place here that's my chat gpt i'm going to ask it a question now so that you can see a perfect example of how we create content how we tell chat gpt to help us all right now let's say for example we want to create a book on weight loss all right we want to create a book on weight loss now weight loss that can be done with natural methods okay that is what we want to create in our ebook so we are going to ask ChatGPT to give us some suggestions all right or maybe give us a an outline for the table of content are you getting now so let's go let's go follow me now we'll come here and say i want to you have to relate with ChatGPT as if it's your friend 
right you come here and say i want to create an ebook about how women can lose weight with natural methods with natural methods are you seeing now follow me with natural methods in 30 days or less now here is what we want suggest five good titles for this ebook all right so we want ChatGPT to help us to suggest a title for our ebook all right now we click on go okay watch ChatGPT doing its job for me okay watch good you can see it's already doing the job all right now um i have to do this again i have to do this again all right i'll send it again okay let's just be patient it's gonna type everything and bring it out now this is delaying because i've used this and used this and used it for a while and it's already jammed do you understand so let's just be patient with it you can see it's loading and it's already trying to create the content for us so let's just be patient while it brings out everything we need okay now you can see it's bringing out can you see can you see sure can you see sure here are five potential titles for your ebook can you see 30 days to natural weight loss a holistic guide for women can you see different titles number one number two number three number four number five so this is a very powerful tool that can help you in your content creation so when you are thinking of creating your ebook you don't need to be cracking your brain you don't need to be brainstorming for a long time you have ChatGPT that is your friend that can help you come up with content ideas all right so these are five tools these are six tools i mean to say these are six tools that can help you to create your ebooks without stressing yourself i believe that you got value from this video and i don't want to make this video extensively long this is what it is if you got value from this video kindly like this video kindly subscribe to the video and make sure you turn on the notification bell so that when i put out more videos you will always be notified thank you very much for sticking around to the end of this video before i leave you if you have questions for me if you want to learn how to make money online by selling your knowledge by offering your skills online and you have challenges you just want to learn how it works go to the comment section and drop a comment and also don't forget to check the link in the description i'm dropping all details to all the resources in the link in the description and also check the comment section i will pin a post there do well to check for all these things and i'll see you in my next video enjoy